Hey everybody, how's it going? When I'm busy here and you guys all thought that I died, which I didn't, just been very busy lately. Uh, the last two months I have not uploaded anything. So the one thing that I wanted to upload was how to use content aware. Uh, I was trying to take this image and put it as a thumbnail for YouTube. Uh, since I, I am a partner on my other YouTube channel, which is always on board if you didn't know, or maybe you're into gaming and maybe you wanna see it. So go check that out. Uh, and what I did is Basically, I was trying to make a thumbnail, so every time you see my YouTube video, you would see this image or whatever I applied to the image. Uh, and what I did is I went to File, New, and made, made a document which was a 1280 by 720 pixels, which is the uh, YouTube HD quality layout, so on, whatever you want to call it. And then I just took this image and dragged it over. Um, and what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to hit Control T or command to you if you're on a Mac and then just stretch it out like this and make it fit because I don't know I just was just I guess wandering off and wanting to learn something new so I guess I taught myself how to use content aware and fill up this area above without actually having to stretch the image out so that keeps the quality uh, HD for the image and uh, what you're gonna do is one you're gonna have the background layer which is in the back uh, I have that and then you have the layer above it which is the image so you click on the layer that you're going to edit, which is the Call of Duty World at War image. And if you're using this, uh, or if you're not using this, there's a link in the description so that you can use this exact photo. So you can follow along and everything is perfect and beautiful and stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to take the lasso tool. So if you click on this and you hold down, um, there's all these, there's three options. And the one that you want is the top one, which is just the plain lasso tool, which should be uh, your default setting it should be the one that's already there so just click on this um, and what you're gonna do is uh, the first lesson before I get into it because you could mess up by doing something like this you could if you click and hold and you get too close to the text it will bring the text up at the top you don't want that so what you want to do is you want to click and hold and you just want to draw as close as you can and I'm totally bad with this mouse that's why I got one of those uh, bamboo things where you draw pretty cool uh, anyways so now that I have this in, or I have this area selected it shows that this is the area that I'm gonna be uh, doing stuff to if I was to do anything it would affect only this area within these lines so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and go to fill now for you guys as soon as you do that it would be on either foreground color or background color or maybe even color uh, but you want to click on this and click on content aware and then keep this the same you shouldn't change that and just hit OK and as you can see, uh, hit Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. As you can see, it just put it in perfectly and just assumed that that's what it would look like if it was there. So we'll hit uh, Control Plus or Command Plus if you're on a Mac and zoom in. And you can see the line. Now the line was something that I wanted to teach you guys too. If you if you guys are really anal about images and being exactly perfect, like no one would really notice that for, if it was that size. Um, but let's just zoom this in and then what we're going to do is we are going to go down here to the healing brush tool or actually let's go to the spot healing brush tool and what that is is uh, let's say you click in an area as soon as you click down what it does is it takes all the area around it and blends one color together so it matches equally and you can click and drag and go along this and then it works out perfectly uh, and then there's a content aware option up here as well uh, so you could probably change it up and see if it works. Here, let's go to it. Let's go to an area where you can actually tell. So right here, you can. There's different settings. There's that setting. Uh, I guess that one worked out pretty good. Hit Control Z to go back, and uh, then we'll tr uh, try this one. I didn't see it, and that one adds a texture to it. So we don't want that. We want it to be smooth. Uh, Content Aware is the one that I suggest you guys go with. So I go like that, and then it works out all the areas around it. So, I mean, that works perfectly. Uh, so if you wanna go in and you can touch up the tops, you know, that's on you if you want to. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do for my final copy of it. But let's uh, show that again. Uh, we're gonna take the lasso tool, go around the area that you want to fill in, right click, fill, mode normal, opacity 100, and use content aware. Hit okay. And voila! So there you go, guys. 
that's just a quick tutorial. I have not uploaded in two months just because I've been doing a bunch of uh, YouTube stuff on my other YouTube channel, which is pretty much my job. And then I have another job and I have a full-time college thing going on. So uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, I plan to be uploading more videos, so stay tuned for that. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.